Okay, before you ask, uh, well, didn't you do this one already, Mr. YouTuber? Uh, shut up. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit different from the, what the last one was. This one's gonna be more about how you are mentally as a person instead of how you actually play the game. If you like all my videos, be sure to always hit that sub button. I'm still reaching for 5,000 subs. We're so close. I want to get it before August, before my birthday. That'd be really nice. But uh, all that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Warren, if you mean Warren, you're either one of those losers that play him in duels and abuses unreactable bashes, or you're a Giga Chad the locks him in Dominion. Most of the time, these guys are pretty ass at the game and are really insecure about their fashion. The skill gap for Warren is bigger than the Grand Canyon it really shows. One of the game, you'll be facing a Rep 10 Warren who will cl you'll clown on, and the next one you'll go against a Rep 80, and he steamrolls you without a thought. If you mean Conk, you're extremely fucking depressed because for some reason you chose to play a hero that has literally only one viable move with no case tools whatsoever. And what the crazy thing is is that people who've never played Conk still say Conk is overpowered as fuck, and even attempting to debate with these idiots makes you lose brain cells. Your biggest fear while playing Kong is an enemy that knows that if he's losing, he can just run away to his team, and there's literally fucking nothing you can do about it. If you main Pika, I know for a fact you've searched or made fan art of Pika and posted it to Reddit, or you have a catalog of screenshots of your Peacekeeper fashion that you spent way more steel than you'd like to admit. You guys gotta be the second most depressed people behind Conk mains and tied with Nusha mains. PK mains are usually really nice people, if you bought the Ezio skin, you're just the exact fucking opposite, you're just one toxic motherfucker. If you mean Sent, I got nothing but respect for you, brother. This hero is one of the only heroes in the game where you actually have to use at least 5 brain cells to win. He's got cool drip, cool executions, cool emotes. If you mean Sent, I would 100% share a beer with you on a hot day. Tell me you love turtling without telling me. If you mean LB, you'll 100% refuse to, refuse to go on the offense and sit back and wait for stupid ass options. You gave yourself the nickname The Wall, but everyone else gave you the nickname The Fucking Virgin. But there's another type of LB that those ones I respect. I call these guys the Clip Kings. You know, the guys that go for stupid shit all the time, like heavy feint into long armor, into bombs. If you mean Glad, you got a fucking massive ego that always hits the roof. Glad means think they're God's gift to the Ferrana community, but the only gift they're getting is a fucking pipe bomb in their mailbox if they keep toe step confirming me. Y'all gotta be the easiest people to piss off. Just losing. A single fight will propel you into a never-ending mauled session about how the other guy only killed you because he's so fucking stupid or some other shitty excuse. If you mean BP or just a mega asshole, if Lava Ringer didn't exist, you'd hold the title for the Turtle King. 90% of your fights boil down to just waiting for a bad option to crush encounter or flipping any attacks in team fights. You guys say you're creative and then run last stand, bastion, and vengeful barrier every game. A newborn baby is more creative than you. If you play Warmonger, you think that everyone who beats you is a fucking scripter or cheating in some way, shape, or form. Warmongers are the crybabies of the Knights faction, and they show it every single game. Your controller buttons are visibly worn out because of how many times you guys spam WoW in fights. If you put as much time as you did crying, cheater, into learning different combos other than heavy, light, level 1 bash, you guys would be better at the game. The only reason your KD is even positive is because all you do is spam dodge attacks and gank scenarios. If you main Griffin, you're kind of stuck between the mid mauled machine and a stoic person. On one hand, you got the Griffin players who spam thanks on every kill even though all you did was kill them once in the Dominion game. And you got the heal select Griffins that run around and heal with heal feats, making sure their 4 stack is never below critical health. 